Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Virtual Boy games on your PC. On screen right now, you can see me playing some Jack Bros. Let's jump right into this. The first thing I want to do is come to this link. Download links are always in the description down below. And we're going to be downloading our Virtual Boy emulator, which in this case is Reality Boy. Simply click this link, click this, and your download will begin. Once you have your emulator downloaded, move it to a location where you can find it easily. I have mine on my desktop, and we're going to be moving all the files from this folder to a new folder. We will need WinRAR 7-zip for this, so simply open up your folder, create a new folder on your desktop, name it Virtual Boy, and just drag and drop all the files over. I already have them all moved over, but you simply want to just copy them all over to a new folder. Once you've all your files moved over to a new folder, we're going to start installing some stuff to get our emulator to work. So the first thing we're going to open up is the Reality Boy and Reality Boy D. What you're going to do is double-click these and simply Simply click run on both of these and once you've this done open up the our boy front and this is where we're going to be have the interface to change our settings and our other application settings as you can see it opens up this thing right here so leave your emulator path as is i would not change this and then you want to change your rom path and this is where you locate to where your games are so right now you can see i have jack bros on the desktop and i have it extracted out which will be jack bros dot vb and your games will come in a dot vb format I'm not going to be showing you today's video where to get games. Games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. Once you have your games downloaded, move them to a location where you can find them easily. Go back to our Reality by front-end application that we just opened. Click the three dots on the right of your ROM path and then locate to where your ROM is. And I just click on jackbros.vb and click open. And that's how you locate to where your games are. Now on this window, we can change a couple of different settings to make our emulator run a bit better. So the first thing I'd recommend changing is the actual size of the screen because by default, it is very small. Now I would not touch the display mode because whenever I touch this, it seemed to give me trouble. So I would simply leave this on frame. If you want to make your window bigger, for this, I would use the zoom. A 3x is what worked well for me for a good size, but I would play around with this depending on your monitor size but tree act worked well for me you can also change the color palette by default it is set to black but in the actual virtual boy console itself everything was on red and i kind of like the red more it feels like there's a bit more color involved because of just the red single color and because the virtual boy obviously only had one color you can only choose one so red is what i like to use here you can change a couple different other settings like the key maps and stuff like that but by default i'm pretty happy with this you can set up controllers and whatnot but for the most part it's pretty easy to get set up once you have everything set up come down here to the bottom right click launch click run and then your game will start to play and it's as simple as that the games run really really smooth and jack bros is actually a pretty fun game the virtual boy had some cool games there were not very many games released i think in america there was like 19 games released but it is still a pretty fun little console to play and it's cool to see where some of our games came from anyway guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel if you want to see some more emulators made let me know in the comments down below check out my emulators playlist i think i'm coming to close to getting all of the emulators done for a pc of old consoles which is pretty cool because there's a fucking lot of them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave two videos on screen. The one on the left is going to be my most recent upload. And the one on the right is going to be one that YouTube most suggests that you will watch. So you should probably check it out because it's apparently for you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.